I thought that the stone election narrative, that you couldn't put that back in its box, that, you know, once you've... It, it's something like 60 or 70% of Republicans believe that the 2020 election was stolen, right? It's a, it's a vast number of people. And I thought, you know, how do you move on from that? At the next election, anyone who loses is just going to be, well, it was stolen again, right? But interestingly, at these midterms, there isn't, there are some people saying, you know, but there's no big stop the steal movement like we saw in 2020 that kind of then morphed into January the 6th. So the question for me is, like the people who believe this, they're obviously, by losing an election, they're not going to suddenly believe that actually everything was kosher all along and it's all fine. So the question for me is, do in order for there to be a kind of democracy-threatening event of the level of January 6th that might actually overturn democracy in, a, in, a, in the United States, do you need one powerful individual, a Trump, or a group of clever, powerful individuals to animate and funnel that into a movement to make it happen? Or, which was kind of my the question we were we were trying to ask with the coming storm are we at the mercy of events that were that are driven by much wider forces the technology um the the the, the late stage capitalism for want of a better phrase etc and for me that's still an open question it's just parenthetically it's striking to reflect that these were the first big elections since january 6th so in a sense you could argue they are a referendum on in part a referendum on Jan 6th and it reminds me of the 90s and, and and when there was this vast militia movement underground and then when in 95 when the Oklahoma City bombing happened it felt like it took some of the steam out of the movement because it was so horrific that it became almost for some of them I, I think slightly embarrassing to be associated with. That's interesting. And I wonder if um, I, I'm just curious from your re research whether you have a sense of how January 6th as an act is viewed by the by the by the Republican Party. In well, general. in MAGA world, so we went to this conference in um, in Miami, Florida, for this for these extra episodes. Um, it was a nationalist conservative conference, and everybody there is incensed by the fact they 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 see January sixth as a kind of expression of discontent, but essentially not not an existential threat to American democracy. They see it as trespass. They, right. and, and in fact the the you know the 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 charges for a lot of these people is trespass. And their point is that these people are getting disproportionately high sentences for effectively trespassing 